Hello, my friends. Clara Parks here from the Wool Channel, back with another wool short. Somebody asked me to explain why it is that wool won't burn. I am happy to answer this question. So there are two parts to this answer. The first has to do with how wool treats moisture. Wool is the ultimate codependent fiber. It sees moisture in the environment and it pulls it in so that you don't feel damp. And then when conditions have dried out again, it will release the moisture back out into the environment. The term for this is hygroscopicity. In fact, whether it is a sock or sweater or insulation in the walls of your house, wool can absorb up to 30% of its weight in moisture before it ever feels damp to the touch. Now that's the extreme example. Your average piece of wool may hold about 13% of its weight in moisture, and that's just ambient moisture in the air, and it pulls it in and holds it in the form of vapor. Vapor is moisture. And you know what extinguishes flame? Moisture. So that's the first part of my answer. Just for context, petroleum-based synthetic fibers like polyester, they are not porous. So moisture has nowhere to go. It just sits on the fiber surface. And if you've ever worn a 100% polyester pair of socks and they started to feel damp and clammy, this is why. Now they've come up with ways to treat these synthetic fibers so that they are better at wicking moisture from wet to dry. However, they're treating in these fibers with chemicals that are pretty much completely unregulated in the United States. And unless that same polyester has been treated with another set of chemicals for flame retardancy, which are also pretty much unregulated in the United States and which can wash off over time, these fibers will melt and ignite like a Roman candle when exposed to flame. The other part of my answer has to do with nitrogen. Now your average wool fiber is made up of between 10 and 12% nitrogen. Not only does that help make wool an awesome fertilizer, but nitrogen also has a very low thermal conductivity. Nitrogen is not flammable, at least not easily. You have to heat it to over 2000 degrees Fahrenheit before it will start to burn. That's very hot. By comparison, wood will quickly ignite around the 600 Fahrenheit mark, even lower if it's been allowed to smolder over several hours. And polyester begins its Roman candle dance around the 450 Fahrenheit mark. Again, wool is going to need to be, because of that nitrogen, up to 2000 degrees Fahrenheit before it's going to start smoldering and burning. This is why flight attendants used to always wear wool uniforms. This is why in theaters, upholstery and carpet used to be made of wool. And this is why the US military has implemented a no melt, no drip policy for any fibers that are exposed directly to skin. They're wearing a lot of wool. In fact, the US military is the biggest single customer of wool in the United States. And this is also why you would be well advised to always keep at least one wool blanket handy. Consider it a super cozy fire extinguisher that will never need to be refilled. Ta-da! There you have it. This has been another Wool Short. I'm Clara Parks from the Wool Channel. Thank you for watching. Ah!